In this land development scenario, we have feature lines defining all of the line work across the entire site. AutoGrader can use these feature lines to do the rest of the grading for you in three different grading families, parallel, perpendicular, and template insertion. In a perpendicular grading family, we have to define a parent feature line or baseline feature line to get initial elevations, then define child feature lines, in this case lot lines, in a variety of filtering options. We have formatting options that we can adjust those side lot lines and then define grade breaks across every lot line that we have selected. Adjusting the method, distance, slope, or elevation with a handy preview down at the bottom to see how you've connected all of that data. When we run the grading family, it writes out three grade breaks to every single lot line that we've selected and adds them all to a surface as break lines. In a parallel grading family, we define dynamically stepped offsets from a baseline feature line to create a pond, for example. In the template insertion grading families, we take a template feature line and apply it across a baseline feature line to put building envelopes in the exact plan view location with correct Z values. If our baselines aren't lined up correctly, we can take them and move them. They're still just break lines added to a surface. We can then open AutoGrader and rerun that grading family to redefine that associative relationship. AutoGrader doesn't create any proprietary objects, just offers an automated way to adjust the native feature lines within Civil 3D.